Okay, so I'm gonna get started. I don't know who's watching. I can't really see right now. I don't even know if this video is working. So, I am here today because this is going to be the first video that you will see in my new program, Finish Waiting. Um, I just want to tell you all about how I lost 100 pounds, over 100 pounds actually, and how you can too. I know I've talked a lot about this if you've been following me on social media or seen any, any of my posts for a while. But uh, So I don't want to get too into detail because if you want to learn like all about my story, you can... Um, you know, listen to my podcast and in the program description, I have like a, an about me section where I talk all about me. But I will tell you a little bit and kind of tailor it to you and how you can do that yourself. So um, all my life, I was overweight. I was a chubby kid and I struggled with, um, you know, my eating habits and exercise and discipline and motivation. Um, you know, kids will make fun of me for being chubby, and I really just, you know, that caused a lot of problems, self-esteem issues and stuff. And um, then as I got older, I think it was like around 17 in grade 12, there was a, a workout class that I joined. On top of that, I was working in a a, a shop, working with like heavy steel prison doors and window frames and it was just a lot of heavy lifting and labor so I ended up losing a bunch of weight between that and the workout class and I was just happier like I had a girlfriend for the first time and and uh, I just I ended up losing a bunch of weight I like finally started to see my abs again and then uh, you know we had our first baby at the age of 18 and then I just got into the habit of not doing anything and then I got, you know, I had a lot of problems internally, so I just had an increase in depression and a lot of mental health problems, which I was medicated for. And I just gained, like, weight so fast. And, you know, between the bad eating habits and, you know, the self-esteem, lack of willpower and, and, and lack of exercise and knowledge and and everything it just added up and I remember at one point I was working at Papa John's and I'd only been there for like nine months I literally just like I had been there for like eight months at that point and I just looked down at my belly and I just like had all these like bright dark stretch marks and I was terrified like it literally looked like you know a pregnant woman's belly in fact it was worse than a lot of pregnant woman's bellies and I was like terrified they were all up my sides and my legs and um, you know that caused a lot of self-esteem issues I mean I kind of I don't even know I didn't even notice them happen because like I was just like afraid of looking at myself in the mirror and so it really took a lot for me to, to kind of accept that and so once I saw them like then you, you, you better bet like I didn't look in the mirror at all for years, and this was like, you know, I, I started on my transformation journey in 2017, so this was probably two years before that, around there, and uh, so at my maximum that I weighed myself on a scale, I was almost 300 pounds, it was 285, maybe I was more at one point, but at the, the most I've ever weighed myself, it was 285, and when I weighed myself, I was like in denial, I was like, wow, like there's no way I weigh this much like how did I how did I get like this and you know I would just kind of ignore and, and shrug the problem away and I would just go go on with my life and pretend as, as if it never happened and you know then like there would be times where I would like you know I knew I was overweight and I wanted to I, I wanted to uh, lose the weight so I would try like an exercise program either one that like my uncle gave me who was uh, you know doing 
he would do bodybuilding competitions and he's the one who took me to the gym for the first time when I was 12 and there was just other things I would try to go to the gym by myself and do things and try to like exercise try to run I would try these diet plans um whether it was a diet one or whatever else or uh, sorry a bodybuilder one or whatever other kind of diet and you know I just I never stuck to anything like I was just living so unconsciously and I just would just eat pizza all the time and and just process foods, fast food, crap. It wasn't uncommon for me to go to like a fast food place every night. Uh, You know, as a massage therapist, we get tips and I would take my tips and, you know, those would turn into Burger King or McDonald's or something. And it would be a couple times a day and with a bag of chips. You know, I had a lot, this is like the weight thing I'm focusing on, but I had other problems too. Like I was a, what you would call a functional alcoholic and quote unquote, and, uh, you know, I would go home two or three times a week and just chug down six beers and, you know, that did not help with the weight gain either. And it's also a problem of its own. There'd be times where I wake up in the morning and have a beer I would miss work for weeks at a time due to my depression. That would be like a couple times a year at least. And, you know, just a lot of other problems going on with that. And uh, I had like IBS, type 2 diabetes, asthma, allergies, rosacea, some autoimmune conditions. And again, as I said, I was medicated for some uh, mental health problems. And... uh, I just had a lot of anger problems. I burnt a lot of bridges with family. My relationships were terrible. And, um, you know, I, I wasn't as present with my kids or, like, you know, putting, like, effort into, like, I don't know, helping them be the best version of themselves, I guess. And, you know, not being the best role model I could be. And uh, so you get the point. Like, I struggled with a lot of problems internally. Like, I had a hard time focusing and everything and you know my mind my inner mind was just like a mess and I I tried all these different things and you know I even took um some before and after pictures like in fact the one I I always post from 2016 that was from when I was trying a diet and exercise program but I didn't stick to it it was only like three weeks and I was feeling really good when I was doing it I just never stuck to it now and this is what I'm getting to there's a reason why I wasn't sticking to it. A big reason. And this is exactly why I feel passionate about doing this and, and launching this program. Because I know what it's like to be overweight and I know what it's like to want to lose weight and just not be able to and just get stuck in your habits and stuff. Um, so the, the reason is because I never got to the root of how I gained weight in the first place. I didn't look at the who, what, when, where, why of food, as in like, where does the food come from? How much do I eat? When do I eat? Um, Where do I eat? Who do I eat with? Um, Am I emotionally eating? Am I overeating? Am I eating because I'm bored? Like, am I buying the wrong foods? Like, these are all questions I never thought of. That was part of the root and getting to the root of why I was emotionally eating to begin with and why did I want all these foods and and how come I didn't have that mental discipline like um and why wasn't I able to stay consistent and you know there's a reason for all of this why we do and don't do things um you might have heard me say this statistic before 80 percent of people who lose weight in a diet that they follow gain it back within the first year and you know the reason first why they lose weight is because they're going from having zero control over their food to all of a sudden having some sort of control over what they eat, how they eat, where their food comes from, so on and so forth. And so that's why they get these results for no matter what diet you follow, whether it's vegan, carnivore, uh, calorie restriction, um, you know, bodybuilding diet, or um, you, you name it, all the all the diet, all the fad diets that are out there, the reason why they work um, fundamentally at, at the core is because you're gaining control of your food again. And so that's why when you lose weight on them, there's a couple of reasons why you gain it back. It's one, because I think some people just 
you lose the weight and you're like, oh, the weight's gone. And then you kind of go back to the same habits. And number two, and this is the most important one, it's because you still have the same problems as to what causes you to gain weight to begin with. Like you never got to the fundamentals which can allow you to have control over food without any diet. And so that's what I focus on. I focus on helping people um, get you know, to the root of why they're eating a certain way so that they can develop the discipline and, you know, so that they can have the consistency with following, you know, I guess their own, their own diet plan. So when you have that willpower and discipline and you understand like why you're emotional eating and you, you become more mindful of that, then you can have that freedom and to have the option of having whatever food you want and you just take that and you just bring that into life with you and then all of a sudden like you know you have control over food and food doesn't have control over you it's just another addiction it's a different kind of addiction that we have and you know these food companies these food scientists and the marketers like they're they're marketing like it's they're basically marking food porn to us like the foods that they're advertising a lot of the foods out there it's literally just made to trigger dopamine in our brain so that we want more of it and sugar's really hard to quit if anybody had a sugar addiction or has a sugar addiction i'm sure you know how hard it is to quit it's harder to quit than smoking and you know, unfortunately, society just cares more about the financial aspect rather than, you know, people's health. So the only way to get around that is to become the best version of yourself and, you know, develop that willpower, develop that discipline to kind of take control over your own life and not let it have control over you. And another thing I wanted to address is uh, well, I always talk about the mindset and the reason why is actually because everybody always asks me how I lost weight to begin with. And they, I think they expect me to tell them what kind of diet I did or what kind of exercise regime I did. And it feels really weird for me to tell them that um, first because I've tried every diet and every exercise program or style of exercise. And number two, it's it, the weight loss only start, started when I, when I changed my mind. Now, what does that mean? Well, there's a couple things that it means. First things first is I realized that if I stayed where I was, meaning I was thinking the same thoughts, I'd be doing the same actions and feeling the same emotions and creating the same results in my life. And if I, I really truly realized that if I changed that, if I changed the way I thought, I would change the way I would feel and I would change the way I would act, which would change the results in my life. So I chose the latter because I really saw the possibility. You will never make a change until you 100% realize how real the possibility of it is. So if you're watching this, whether the recording or you're watching it live, you need to realize how possible it is to make a change in your life. Because that's what's gonna motivate you, that's what's gonna fuel the fire to make the weight loss happen. And uh, the other reason why with the mindset is because I realize that I have control over my mind and I, you know, I realize the power of it. So the moment we decide something is the moment it happens because our, what happens when we make a decision is our subconscious follows suit. Our subconscious wants to know how to do what we just decided. So for instance, like the simple example I always use, and this is in my book, which you will get if you sign up for my program, Finish Waiting. Um, I, I love the analogy of laundry because I think everybody knows how to do laundry. And if you don't, well, we'll get into that. So when you think about doing laundry, you know, you think about doing the tasks of it and, you know, it's pretty simple. You grab the basket of clothes, you put them in the washer, turn it on, wait a little bit, take them out, put them in the dryer. They're done, fold them, whatever. Now, what happens if you don't know how to do the laundry? Oh, sorry. At first, I want to say, like, let's say you're sitting on the couch and you're like, oh, I'm going to do laundry. So you decide to do laundry. You, you, you decide that for yourself. And you have a reason for deciding that. So that's 
you need clean clothes for work, to go to the gym, whatever the case may be. And so your subconscious follows suit once you make that decision. You just more likely to automatically just get up and you just like, you do all the things I said, get the laundry, put the soap in, turn it on, switch them, fold them. It's all automatic behavior. It's all automatic and it all starts with the decision. That's how our mind works with anything. We just have to make the decision for ourselves. Now, what happens if we don't know what to do? What happens if we don't know how to lose weight? If we don't know how to make more money or have a better relationship or so on? What happens if we don't know how to do laundry? Well, if you're sitting there on the couch and you're like, oh, I need to do laundry. It's been years since I washed my clothes. I've been wearing the same shirt all the time. I want to finally do laundry myself. So because you made that decision, your subconscious mind is going to want to find a way to make that happen. And so it will bring you to the people, places, and the things to help get you there. You're going to be more receptive to the people that come into your life to help you get there, to just to help you do laundry, lose weight, make more money, have better relationships, help you through job or career, whatever. You're going to be more likely to accept that. You're going to be more likely to do that. So, you, you know, you might call your mom, you might do a Google search, but it all starts with that decision. And then all of a sudden, you know how to do those little tasks to do the laundry, and then it becomes automatic. And so that's the same thing with weight loss. And so essentially, I teach you, I, I'm, I'm that person that comes into your life to show you how to do those subconscious things that you don't know how to do, or that you need help with, or you just need help. Maybe you already know, and you just want to make that more consistent and drive that more into your subconscious so that can become more automatic. So that's exactly what I do. And I help through coaching by helping you get rid of those bullshit stories that, that you tell yourself that create the discomfort in your life and uh, you know keep you from being the best version of yourself. So it's my job to bring out the best in you, to, rea to help you realize that you already are perfect the way you are, that you already are the best version of yourself. All you have to do is step into that and make that decision and then you'll begin acting like that. You know, and it's never ending because it changes every day. We're always learning and growing and evolving. And you know, even me right now, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying I have all the answers. I am constantly learning and growing. So each day I'm stepping into a new, better version of myself because I'm looking at the things I did that were not beneficial or wrong or whatever and look, looking at things I, looking at the things that I did that were good and picking and choosing which ones are gonna better serve me and, and keeping that into my life. So it's one of the many things I do. I, you know, I can help you uh, clear any limiting beliefs that you have about yourself or what you can accomplish, clear up any confusion with diet, what you should eat, what you shouldn't eat, um, questions with fasting or, you know, biohacking or any of that science stuff or whatever. Um, there's just, there's a lot to it. And this is why I created the program because I can't, I can't solve, help, I can't help you solve these problems yourself in a one minute video, one 15 minute video, hour video, I need like a program like this to do that because we need to go deep in each, su each subject. And uh, my book is really good for that because it kind of goes, it, it gives you like a general synopsis of um, everything you, that I did to, to lose the weight and it helps you to kind of understand that. And those are like the fundamentals. I like, will always refer back to my book because it's kind of like the, uh, what's the word? The blueprint. It's the blueprint. And uh, again, like, I, I just want to say, like, you know, I'm not saying I have the answers to weight loss. Like, I'm just teaching what I did for myself that worked for me and works for other people that I've talked to. I've been a massage therapist for over nine years. So I know a lot about the human body, anatomy, physiology, pathology, like, everything. I know how the body works, how it functions, movements, and like, uh, just like talking to people about their health journeys and, you know, listening to what they have to say, um, listening to how the Western medicine world is, has, has or hasn't helped them and listening to how the, uh, the holistic, you know, Eastern medicine has and hasn't helped them. And, you know, from that, you know, I've gained a lot of insights and a lot of knowledge that I can bring to help you become the best version of yourself. So 
I said a lot there, but I think if we could sum it up, what it takes to lose weight is the mindset. And, you know, somebody, if you didn't see my reel I posted the other day, which you're not if you're watching this recording, there was somebody who said that that's like hippy-dippy bullshit. Well, I think that's bullshit because he's kind of just picking something and he's not really like, um, you know, looking at the whole picture of it. Um, This is the fundamental. In order to lose weight and keep it off, you you need the mindset. Anybody who has achieved anything, I think they can tell you that. Um, Even Eminem says, you can do anything you set your mind to, man. And uh, it's, it's just like, it's just, it's cliche, but it, it is what it takes. Because with that, then you can understand that that's how you develop the discipline and the willpower and the consistency. And that's how you stop your bad habits. One of my clients stopped smoking after like 15 years or whatever it was. And after the second session I had with her, simply by the techniques and tools I use to help you bring self-awareness to where your bad habits started and the emotions and beliefs attached to them so that you can change them and get rid of them for good. And that's a pretty powerful thing. So I'm not saying that the thing with like when I say I make the hard stuff easy, weight, weight, weight loss made easy. I say that because in life we have a choice. We get to choose our own suffering. We can either let suffering happen to us. So, you know, if we're eating McDonald's every day, that's going to cause inflammation in our body. Overweight, it's going to hurt our joints and stuff. You know, we're more likely to develop a lot of health health problems. So that's suffering. You know, we think it's the easy route because it's like, okay, we can just sit on our couch, do nothing, eat this crap, you know, do this and that. And we can avoid doing hard things like, like the gym or like eating better and so on and so forth but or you can choose to go to the gym which is something hard you can choose to take cold showers you can choose to eat better foods and and you know stop eat less sugar and stuff like that which is also hard but that's going to bring you that's going to bring you positive results that type of suffering so as i said That's kind of like rewording what I said at the beginning of the video. I could either, you know, suffer through life happening to me, or I could choose my own suffering and go to the gym, which is actually not really suffering after you start doing it because you feel so good. The benefits from doing these things are so amazing that they don't become hard. These things used to be hard for me. I used to hate running or cardio, weightlifting. That's why I couldn't stick to it. It sucked. I didn't have the mindset. I didn't have the fundamentals to stick to it. But when I changed the way I thought about things and changed those beliefs and emotions I had attached to them, it became way easier to do them. And now it's fun, quite honestly. I love cardio. I have I don't have the best knees in the world. I had, some, I had a complete ACL tear and I blew both knees out twice. But I I do enjoy running because of the exercise. I do mostly biking because it's better on my knees, and uh, it's quite honestly easy for me to do those hard things. You know, going in the sauna, pushing myself that extra couple minutes. It's hard, but it's easy. You know, because I'm choosing that for myself because it brings me so much benefit. So that's why it makes the hard things easy. And I'm not just discrediting discrediting that it's going to be hard. It will be hard for a bit, but you have to keep that in mind because that's what's going to motivate you. And in order to stop all these bad habits, you're going to have to stop doing the same things that you're doing. You're going to have to break the bad habits you've been doing. You know, the, the classic phrase where they say... Um, Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. You're going to have to do something different. So if you want to do something different, 
this program's for you. This is something different. It's not some bullshit diet. It's not some bullshit exercise program. In fact, I can teach you how to find the most optimal type of exercise for yourself, whether that be swimming, biking, running, walking, yoga. Doesn't have to be weightlifting. Not everybody has to do like intense weightlifting or cardio all the time. There is something for everybody. The key is a body in motion stays in motion. There is an exercise out there that everybody can enjoy, I believe. You just have to put yourself into new situations to find something new. And if you really hate them all, guarantee if you keep doing it, you're going to feel really good because the endorphins and the results you'll get and you know just the longevity you'll get in improving the quality of your life are so worth it. So, I can't cover everything in one call, but let me assure you, we will go through everything that you need and everything that it takes to lose weight, and I will be with you until you achieve your goal, if you choose that. So, I just want to say, um, for those who are interested, I am offering 10, uh, 10 of these, 10 one month free signups for my program, Finish Waiting. Just use the code at the checkout, first month free. So I'm giving away 10 of those. So use that at the checkout to get your first month free. Simply type in first month free as the coupon code and if you want to do a whole year and commit to yourself for yourself, you can get 40% off your first year. Just type in the code first year 40 at the checkout and you'll get 40% off your first year. Remember when you choose to work with a coach, when you choose to join a program, you are doing this for yourself. You are saying yes for yourself. Everybody has a different role to fill in the world. An ant builds ant hills and does ant things. A bee makes honey and builds bees' nests. I do this. I created this finished waiting program. This is what I do. So I'm going to be here no matter what. You just have to make this decision for yourself to change your life. If I can change my life, you can too. In fact, you can do even more than I did. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to answer them. Um, you know, social media, bestinterest.life. Um, find me on Facebook, Jordan Best, or uh, <laughs> Jordan Best, the voice crack, or my group, my Facebook group, Finished Waiting. You can join that. And yeah, just, I would love to be with you on your journey and excited to get started and reach out. Have a good day and see you on the next call.